Hello and welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau. Uh, the year is slowly coming to an end. This was a great week. Uh, the restoration of the bed crown uh, is, went much better than I thought. Bonsoir à tous. We have our new Journey to the Chateau de Colombe. Is it, uh, is it, uh, c'est le ciel de lit? Mm. Yeah, man, uh, <laughs> yes, that's what I'm Deutsch sprechen, Freunde. Uh, diese Woche war klasse. Herzlich willkommen nochmal zu einer neuen Episode und Uh, Baldachin, Bett Baldachin, uh, ist deutlich besser verlaufen als ich gedacht habe. Right, so you began the restoration of the bed crown that we bought for our guest room, which yes. is going to be our first bed and breakfast room in the chateau. And we got that where? Uh, we got that, where did we get that? Uh, oh, it was at the uh, Grand Brocon de Touche. De Touche, yes. It, it's lovely, mm-hmm. and it was, uh, the, those bed crowns are not particularly rare, but it's hard to find them at the, the Bocond or something. Right. So, the, uh, the, uh, the internet one can find them, but that was a, a lovely find. Absolutely. And we've actually, we found uh, we found several of them in all different places, when that's very similar to the one that we shape, the one that we put in the sheet. Yes, and the right. one that, that Terry and Ash just, or Terry just restored. That's right. right. So, um, and yeah, the one in the sheet is exact the same shape. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did that a year and a half ago. Right. So, it, I mean, this is, this is not our first rodeo with bed crowns anymore. <laughs> and we have another one in the making, uh, well, in, in the pipeline, I should say. Right, right. So you started working on this one. Yes. Uh, for the bed and breakfast room, uh, restoring the wood and doing some gilding. Yes. From uh, Chateau de Colomb workshop. Uh, so this is the bed crown for uh, the bed and breakfast room. And uh, this is in fantastic shape. There are two mini pieces missing that's very easy for Stuart to replace. Uh, everything else is nice and solid wood. Um, there is one gap which I'm going to right here where it's a bit loose I'm going to put wood glue in it and uh, clamp it hence the clamp and let it dry overnight and then can restore it tomorrow and it can go up on the wall okay so all clamped tomorrow cleaning and uh, gilding and then it can go up fantastic I love it okay the bedroom is progressing very nicely. Well, kind of. Uh, this should now be almost as good as new. Well, but antique still. So this should be sturdy again. One hopes. But I definitely need to work on the the wood, uh, wipe it down and nurture it because it hasn't been used in a while. But the wood is is sturdy, that's lovely. And the fabric that will be adorning this lovely piece is on its way as well. So that's great. I'm very happy about that. But still, that's good. This holds it up and the ceiling. <clears throat> so uh, Liberon is a French company here that we are using for certain things. I need to figure out which one I want to use right now, which matches the wood the best. Now I have my (laughs) 
This is a very thick wax. For that, I will have to use this. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. And it is right now, or for weeks, it is basically here pouring rain every day. So, it's uh, quite, quite horrible uh, to deal with it every day. The dogs hate it. Uh, we're not a big fan, but our water table is so high that uh, we don't need to worry about that anymore, about drought for the next year or two. How about that? It is really quite astounding how much of a change that makes when dried out wood is revitalized with good wax. That off a bit. And then I will polish it in a little bit and it will just look like it did 200 years ago. So, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit so it can actually penetrate the wood before I then buff it and take it into the house to be hung up. It's really exciting. But before I do that, I will get into these crevices. How pretty that then looks. And again, this is not the final rubbing, uh, polishing, but this makes sure that the excess, there's not too much on it because if that dries, it is a pain to get that off. So you do that right away and then you do buff later and it's very rewarding, trust me. Okay, that can now rest here before it's buffed later. So it's still pouring out there, lovely, on and off. And we have a little bit of a disaster in the chateau. We're gonna talk about that later. So I'm just buff this over a little bit again. It has absorbed most, really, most everything. It's fantastic, truly pretty. And I don't know if you can hear the rain. This <laughs> is really depressing. So I think I've heard that it was so far almost 40 consecutive days of rain. Uh, any government entity that wants to tell me that our region is in a drought 
they can go home. Because we are not. So, last step before it goes into the chateau. This is the gilding wax that I've used for uh, another bad crown, bad crown a while back. Because what I want here is to have this just very subtle and not, uh, I could use the, the real gilding gold that we have. I could do leaf gold gilding, but that's just too much for that room. So you can see it's, it's such an instant change. Lord, I'm very happy how this turned out. So as you can see, I'm going to wipe it down a bit because I want the gold to be just... Uh, it's not a shiny, uh, bright gold. It is more of a discreet, a bit brassy gold. And that's perfect for this purpose, for this room. Uh, because besides the trumeau over the fireplace, nothing else there is really gilded. There's a gold mirror, but that's, that's a whole different issue. So, wiping one, time over this. Okay, let me put this away. And we're ready <clears throat> to take this in the shelter where we have a horrible, horrible humidity right now.
Now the background's up. Mm -hmm. Next step is fabrics. It is, so getting out the sewing machine again. <laughs> now, that, now that, the, the reason I'm doing this is, so we have had ordered uh, with the same artwork by different company, this time it was a company in Germany, uh, fabric. Right, and it was uh, fabric that was using the design that I designed mm -hmm. for the wallpaper, except what we decided we wanted to do was do it in reverse. Yes. So it was going to be kind of the pink rose color with a white print on it instead. And so we <sighs> want to use that for the curtains and maybe the bed crown. And so uh, we ordered that and it, we did get the fabric. Beautiful. Yes, uh, but it doesn't really quite match. Not even remotely. I mean, no. we could put it in this room. It is like that rose color. It's stunning. Really pretty. Uh, we could put it on on this uh, decrepit wallpaper and it would look <laughs> fine because it yeah. ma kind of matches this color, but it does not match this red pink that the wallpaper has. So we cannot use it. So I need to figure out how we can get this company to print, because really the, the fabric and the print is gorgeous. Right. And we're gonna reuse this, or use this elsewhere. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, but and, and so for so for now, uh, we had, uh, as you had seen previously, when we did the, Patrick did the cover for the headboard. Yes. And so right now we're going to, we're using the same fabric that we did for the headboard, and we're gonna use that in the bed crown. Yep. Right. That's so interesting. Right, so you're gonna start working on that, and it's going to be uh, either yay or nay from people. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> always is. Yeah. Um, but it uh, there's no <laughs> no better better thing than trying. Absolutely right. So uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, don't forget that uh, this Sunday we have our fourth Sunday Advent at the Chateau, which is also Christmas Eve. It's true. Yes. And um, now. Uh, I, my parents are not coming for Christmas, so I'm going to be here with the dogs while Stuart is in the United States. And um, But just let, so everyone knows, you're not going to be alone. No, I have dogs. No, you have other friends who are here yes. too who are spending Christmas <laughs> with. <laughs> Don't let them tell you that. <laughs> no, uh, but so it's... Uh, I'm not sure if I can film, but I will try. Right, so if you like this episode, please give us a thumbs up. Like, uh, subscribe, and uh, the, uh, click the notification bell. It helps us a lot if you subscribe. Uh, why were you laughing because I did this? <laughs> I don't know. And if you want to support the renovation of the Chateau, please join us on Patreon. Or buy us a coffee. And we will see you on Sunday. Thank you so much. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. Bye. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.